Hey, have you guys noticed that these new diesels are really expensive or is it just me? And I think this generation of trucks might kind of be the sweet spot that a lot of us should look at now. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I was kind of thinking back about, gosh dang, you know, we all know these are expensive, okay? The new ones, they're out of control, all the brands, we know, we know. So, what would be a good, you know, general range of diesels for a guy to buy today if he was dead set on a diesel, but he didn't want to spend 70, 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars? And I think it might be this generation of truck. Now before you anti-Ford fellows come at me, this is just the example truck that I pulled out today. I don't have a good example from Ram or Chevy or GMC, whatever. This is a 2016 F350 single rear. And like I say, it's more just about this generation of vehicle as a total when it comes to diesels, not necessarily this exact truck. So kind of the range I'm talking about is, you know, call it that 8 to 12 year old neighborhood of diesel, right? This one's a 16 and you don't have to be too literal if, you know, you think waiting for 17 or 18 to get the L5P from the GMs is better than uh, go with that, right? But you get what I'm saying. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Part of the reason being is think about the reasons we always bought diesels, guys, right? Longevity, towing capability, all those things, right? Now, while the longevity is kind of a debate nowadays and some of those other things, there is still something special about these diesels for those of us that are all about them, right? I love diesels. It's really hard for me to not still want a diesel, even though I know practically I could get away with a lot of the new gas heavy duty stuff and even a, for a lot of people a half tons. Another reason I think these are kind of a sweet spot is they're still modern, right? Compared to trucks that are much older, they're still modern. You still have your cooled seats and your nice features and some of all those things, but they're not nearly as complicated as brand new versions of the same thing with, you know, 12, 14 inch screens, all that crazy stuff. They're still a little bit more on the simpler side while still having the amenities, while still being overly capable for what most people are going to be doing. And it's still a diesel, baby. The other thing, guys, is towing. This truck's rated to tow 14,000 pounds, which might sound like not very much nowadays. That's conventional. Fifth wheel's like 15.7. That might not sound like that much compared to some crazy numbers that we hear nowadays, right? You hear of half tons being rated to tow 10, 12, 14, even thousand pounds. And anybody that's towed anything with a 1500 and then one of these trucks knows. This truck being a diesel, it has a joke of an exhaust brake, but it has an exhaust brake. That's a little jab for the Ford fellas. Bigger truck, bigger frame, bigger brakes, the whole nine, right? Towing 12,000 pounds with this truck and a new F-150, this truck's gonna take the cake all day long. But that 14,000 pounds is plenty for what most folks are buying and you're spending literally like half the money to get a truck like this over a brand new one that for most folks is going to tow everything you're ever going to tow. It has like 440 horsepower and 800 something pound feet of torque, man. I mean, you're well within most people's capabilities there. And if it's not, then you know who you are and you know what to do. But given that it's half the money, literally, you can buy one of these trucks for roughly half the money as a roughly equivalent new one. You can buy literally this truck you can buy a trailer and a side-by-side -side and probably some other stuff instead of buying just a brand new truck. I know, what's, I know what some of you guys are saying where, well, Matt, duh, of course he can save money over buying a brand new truck when you buy a used one. But just the difference is so staggering nowadays how much something like one of these is, right? Your new Fords, your new Chevys, or, or pick your brand, right? Again, I'm not trying to get brand specific here. I'm more talking about... 10 years old versus brand new. Of course these are less. Of course they're about half the money. But think about that fact back in the day, right? Where a brand new truck was forty dollars or $50,000. Still a ton of money, but you were getting pretty much a top of the line, whatever you're getting. Where now, you're not even into the diesels when you hit forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, right? This truck is still super modern, super capable. And it's like, you know, 40 or whatever it is compared to 80 or something. It's not like it's 22 and 44 anymore. Even though this video is not about this specific truck, I'll still show it to you real quick. As I mentioned, it's a 2016 F350 single rear short bed F350. Not personally a fan of the big wheel wells myself. Has the aftermarket tank. You guys saw the interior. It's a Lariat. 
this gentleman put on this bumper light bars. I think these are aftermarket lights. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know this gen of Ford's like the back of my hand like some of y'all. So let me know. And as always, it is for sale at Tempe Ram here in Tempe, Arizona. I'll leave my email and a link to this truck down below. If you're interested in anything or anything you see here, shoot me an email and let me know. So I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say too. No, Matt, this isn't the prime years of diesels. That was my 7.3s and my 12 valves and things like that. I, I get it, I know, but those trucks are, they're not coming back anytime soon. And a lot of people don't wanna deal with a truck that's that old nowadays. I hear you. I don't disagree, but I'm not speaking to, you know, those generations. I'm speaking to what most people are going to be realistically out looking to purchase today, 2024, comparing new trucks to something that might be, you know, a little bit more comparable, still not too many miles, whatever, whatever. You can tell this one has 85,000 miles, and as I mentioned, the reason we used to all like diesels is because they ran forever reliably. That's still kind of the going theme, right? We still have a lot of those fond memories of them. They still tow better than anything by far. There's still a big use case for somebody to buy a diesel. Man, I know y'all love hating on Fords. I owned two Fords back in the day. I'll put up a couple screens here. Yes, it is a 6.0. Don't come at me, bro, I know. But anyways, man, I... I love driving them. They drive so nice. I don't know that I would buy one. You hear so many horror stories, but then again, you could extrapolate that to any of the brands. I just love the noise the engines make. Ah, I got a sweet spot for them, I won't lie. But really driving this generation of diesels, they don't feel underpowered. Granted, they don't feel as absolutely insane as some of the new trucks with, you know, over a thousand pound feet of torque and all those crazy numbers and 10 speeds and all that stuff. But we also, as truck buyers, constantly say that that's not what we want. We want it to be simpler. Well, this is simpler. It's, like I say, it's not your 12 valve or your 7.3. We know, we know. But it's much simpler overall. In here, sensors wise, there's no crazy blind spot or adaptive cruise or any of that crazy nonsense relative to a new one. And it's so much less money. And again, guys, I hear you on the idea of a pre-owned truck. It's more likely to break. It's more likely to do this. But people are constantly saying how the new trucks aren't that reliable. <clears throat> so if a new truck isn't that reliable, is this truck likely to be that much worse? It's not nearly as complicated, like we mentioned. And it's so much less money that, what do you guys think? I mean, do you think it's worth going for a truck like this over a brand new one for, say, your most average everyday consumers? Let me know what you think. But that's gonna pretty much do it guys. Just wanted to have a quick chat about why I think this generation of diesels roughly might kind of be the move for a lot of folks. Let me know if you think I'm right or wrong or crazy or whatever you think. Drop it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're getting really close to a thousand and that would be pretty awesome. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave me a comment and you know we love the comments around here. We'll see you next time.